Hello there. This one will have the socialists panting with ecstasy. Joe Biden is about to unleash the tax man on the wealthiest US citizens. Labour Party supporters in the UK will be screeching for the UK to follow in the US President's footsteps as Joe Biden prepares to hammer anyone worth over $100 million with a minimum 20% tax rate. And this is to redress the findings of the White House Office of Management and Budget that some of the richest US families only paid 8% tax on their income, far below the average. But this tax to balance the books would not just cover income, it would also cover gains on unrealised assets. So if you were a mega-rich American with property that has increased in value, well, 20% of that increased wealth would belong to Uncle Sam. The same with stocks and shares and art and all the rest of it and they will have to declare the lot to the US Treasury with assessments of worth etc every year. And those who believe that the accumulation of wealth is a crime against humanity will be dribbling at the prospect. All that money could soon be redistributed to them via Joe Biden's new tax regime. What the leftist deem as unearned wealth for the rich would become unearned income for them. Now, the idea is to soak the wealthiest 0.01% of the US population, and according to reports, it will raise $360 billion over the next 10 years, with over half the revenue coming from billionaires. The trouble is that many people think this plan is so unworkable that it will never make it onto the US statute books, and there are also fears of unintended consequences. Would many of these people have to sell off assets like shares or property to pay for this tax, for example? After all, they are unlikely to have enough actual cash in the bank to pay such a bill. Although it is spread over 10 years and the tax bill changes every year as assets grow or diminish in value. But the rich being forced to sell off assets will be music to the ears of the left. Suck it up, they'll crow. They just want the rich and their dosh separated. But not realising that what they're doing is tapping a few people today for decades of government mismanagement of the US economy, leaving it north of $20 trillion in debt. And it won't end up there, because this would be a whole new tax revenue stream to expand on. The thresholds will come down over time to capture ever more people and more wealth, that's how taxes work, especially when the left are spending other people's money. So what does $360 billion over 10 years actually amount to? Well, that's $109 a year for every one of the 330 million US citizens. And for those of you who think that the mega wealthy will just move and take their money abroad, as I understand it, this applies to all US citizens and their worldwide assets and income. Therefore, tax havens will not protect them. The only way out might be to move abroad and renounce their US citizenship. <laughs> 